We know you've missed going back to school to meet with your friends, resume your activities, and just be able to get back to how life was like on campus. But for the UMians who didn't get to set foot on campus yet, whether you are in basic education, senior high school, or college, let's take a little trip to the campus you can hopefully get to visit soon as you finish your education with UM. Luckily, we've got some of our beloved teachers to show We know you've missed going back to school to meet with your friends, resume your activities, and just be able to get back to how life was like on campus. But for the UMians who didn't get to set foot on campus yet, whether you are in basic education, senior high school, or college, let's take a little trip to the campus you can hopefully get to visit soon as you finish your education with UM. Luckily, we've got some of our beloved teachers to show you around UM's colleges and campuses so you'll know what to expect when you come back to school. It's only proper to start to the place where it all began. The UM Bolton and Embassy Campus were among the first structures to be put up as the University of Mindanao was starting to make a name for itself 75 years ago. Here at the Bolton site, you can find many of the offices for student services like the Registrar, Student Accounting Office, and Cashier among others. There's also a canteen where students and employees can purchase healthy food. Going further into Bolton campus, you can find on the first floor the College of Legal Education, where aspiring lawyers take their Juris Doctor degrees. There is even a dedicated library for law students across the cool and shaded quadrangle. On your way to the staircase to get the second floor, you get to pass by the AVR3, where lots of programs and other small gatherings are held. Going up to the second floor, you can find the office of the College of Business Administration Education. UM is the only school in Mindanao granted a center of excellence by CHED for its business and management programs, as well as level 4 accreditation by the PACOCOA. So if you're planning on a career in business-related dealings, the CBAE is for you. Our college offers the following programs under the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Major in Entrepreneurship, Legal Management, Real Estate Management, Marketing Management, Financial Management, Human Resource Management, and the new program Major in Business Analytics. The third floor also houses our expansive library and information center that covers the Bolton side. Let's head on over to the Embassy Campus. Across the UN Bolton is the Embassy side, and it's named that way because it used to be the grounds for Japanese Embassy back in World War II. Today, 
It is a sprawling area that houses the gymnasium for large UM events, our admission office, our Center for Health Services, or the student clinic and the external relation office out front on the first floor. Going up, you can find the International Affair Office where matters for foreign exchange students are processed among others. And walking further, you will find the office of the Senior High School Department. Outside of the Embassy Campus, on the Ponciano side, we have the UM Multitask Diagnostic Center, which offers various laboratory services like blood testing, x-ray, and doctor consultations. UM Bolton and Embassy Campus are located at the heart of downtown Davao, so it's easy to commute from here to many other places you might need to go. And speaking of which, did you know that UM has a campus at Matina? I'll send you over to our teacher friends in Matina campus and they can show you around. We're now inside the University of Mindanao's largest campus, the 28-hectare Matina campus, encompasses the Matina area going up to Ma'a. Right beside the Gravahan exit is the basic education building where it caters from kindergarten up to junior high school students with lots of space for learning and play. Going further inside the campus, you'll spot the four-story business engineering building. Its first and second floor houses laboratories for engineering programs. It is the premier engineering school for its level four accreditation granted by the Bakukoa and the Center of Development Studies by the Commission in Higher Education. UM College of Engineering offers the following programs. Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, and Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, major in Structural, Water Resource, Transportation, and Geotechnical. The third floor of the BE building is home to Davao Region's roster of top-notchers of the CPA licensure examination. The College of Accounting Education has Level 3 accreditation from Pakukoa and is certified by the Commission in Higher Education as a Center of Development. The College of Accounting Education offers the following programs Bachelor of Science in Accountancy Bachelor of Science in Internal Auditing Bachelor of Science in Accounting Information System Bachelor of Science in Management Accounting The Learning and Information Center takes up the entire topmost floor of the BE building it houses all the university's books available for borrowing. Let's take a scenic trip to the College of Hospitality Education. Located near the UM Athena Gymnasium, the College of Hospitality Education has level 3 accreditation from Pakukoa and offers the following programs. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management and Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. The College of Hospitality Education also has industry-level facilities like the La Spezia Mini Hotel, the Function Hall, and the Kitchen and Bakery areas. Located behind the gymnasium is the UM Hangar where students can test their inventions and other experiments. The Hangar holds the University's Coleoptera Research Center, the first university-based center in the Philippines dedicated to study the conservation and cataloging of Philippine beetle species. Every large university such as UM has a place where students gather for major events. And UM doesn't just have its Bolton Gymnasium, we also have the Matina Gymnasium too. Equipped with fold-away bleachers and professional standard flooring for the courts, the gym is the perfect venue for sporting and other extracurricular activities. Despite being a bustling school, there's plenty of space in UM Matina for some quiet time and to be surrounded by nature. UM Matina has a mini forest with tables and benches because UM believes that learning and rest isn't just limited to the walls of a room. Is this tour making you a little hungry? Across the gymnasium is the university canteen and food court, which serves a variety of affordable meals, snacks, and drinks where students can eat comfortably. Tables are regularly sanitized and electric fans are provided. Let's head down to the JT building. Named after the school's founder, Guillermo E. Torres, 
The building is home to Davao Region's producer of top notchers in the licensure examinations for teachers. The College of Teacher Education offers the following programs. Bachelor of Elementary Education, Bachelor of Early Childhood Education, Bachelor of Special Needs Education, Bachelor of Physical Education, and Bachelor in Secondary Education, major in Biological Sciences, English, Social Studies, Filipino, and Mathematics. Also, found on the first floor of the GAT building is the Audiovisual Room 2, an air-conditioned and carpeted, fully equipped facility with cinema-style folded seating, which is frequently used for different programs. The second and third floor of the GAT building is occupied by the premier criminology school in Davao, the College of Criminal Justice Education. The CCJE offers Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Bachelor of Science in Industrial Security Management. Heading further inside the campus, away from GET, will reach the DPT building. Named after former school president Dolores P. Torres, the four-story building houses the mini auditorium, the quality management office, research and publication center, institute of pedagogical and assessment center, some laboratories, and pocket gardens on its first floor. Located on the DPT's second floor is the College of Arts and Sciences Education. CASE offers the following programs. Bachelor of Arts in English, Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Bachelor of Science in Agroforestry, Bachelor of Science in Forestry, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Bachelor of Science in Public Administration, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, and Bachelor of Science in Social Work. The third floor of the DPT building houses the College of Health, Sciences, Education, or the CHSE. CHSE offers Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy, Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, and Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics. Sharing the floor with CHSE is the College of Computing Education. CCE offers Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Bachelor of Science in Information System, Bachelor of Science in Entertainment and Multimedia Computing, major in Game Development and Digital Animation. The topmost floor of the DPT building is home to the Creative Academic Unit of UM, the College of Architecture and Fine Arts Education. CAFAE offers Bachelor of Science in Architecture, Bachelor of Fine Arts major in Painting. Let's head back down and you'll see that across the DPT building is our Professional Schools building. It is led by its Dean Dr. Eugenio S. Guhau and serves to bring globally recognized ISO standard and TACOCOA accredited postgraduate and doctorate degrees to more Dabawenios. We're about to head out now, but before we leave, let's take a look at the UM Oval Track and Sports Stadium. It has a 400-meter rubberized track suitable for track and field training and other sporting activities. The sports stadium served as the venue for the 2019 Palarong Pambansa. Thanks for joining this campus tour. Oh, by the way, even though UM is already a formidable university that is second in the whole Philippines to offer the most number of Pakukoa accredited programs, we do not rest. The administration keeps on working very hard just to be sure that more Filipinos here and abroad are able to obtain quality, affordable, and open education. Stick around as we discuss the online enrollment process and online learning management system. Hope to have you here at UM soon, Ga! Alright, so good morning everyone. Good morning mga ga. You have just officially taken a virtual tour 
of uh, the University of Mindanao. So welcome everybody. I hope that we are all good today and that we are all um, ready for our um, info session this morning as we have with us today two um, of our faculty members from the College of Teaching Education and they will be presenting to us um, the uh, programs under social studies and physical education. So uh, with us this morning, we have Sir Wenji Sanchez. Sir Wenji, good morning, sir. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello, mom. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, yes, everyone. Sir. Yes, sir. So, um, Sir Wenji will be sharing to us the program for social studies, um, Sir Wenji, if I'm not mistaken. And then we also have with us, we have Mom Marmi Rochelle from Physical Education. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, Hello po. Good morning. Good morning, okay. everybody. All right. So, yeah. so thank you so much, um, ma'am and sir, no, for um, being with us this morning as we share with our um, students, no, future students, um, what it's like to um, uh, be a part of the programs that you both will be presenting for this morning. So um, without further ado, I guess everybody is ready to begin um, with our info session for this morning now. So I'm going to hand over the virtual floor now to Sir Wenji so that he may begin his um, info session. Thank you so much, Sir Wenji. You may now start um, sharing your screen. Thank you, Ankit. Once again, good morning, everyone. I am Wenji D. Sanchez, a faculty of BS and Social Studies program, who will be giving to you an information about this program, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Social Studies. I know you're excited to know this program, so let's start. So what is Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Social Studies? So this is the so Bachelor of Secondary ed Education major in Social Studies is a four-year degree program designed to provide students with the knowledge and skills in teaching secondary students about the complex, culturally rich world of the 21st century. So this program will the program guides the students as they delve into subject area explorations, learn teaching methods and strategies, and develop classroom management skills through various te student teaching experiences related to the social sciences. This program will equip you with the knowledge in understanding our complex, diverse, and interconnected world, our own roots or history, and it will mold you to become responsible Filipinos. And also this program will equip you with the relevant skills on how to teach secondary social studies or Araling Panlipunan in your junior high school, teaching social studies that is engaging and meaningful. You will also study different branches of social sciences in this program, such as geography, anthropology, political science, and the discipline of humanities, such as history and literature. Also, you will be learning different methods of teaching, such as inquiry-based learning, project-based, and problem-based teaching. So why study Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Social Studies. First, this is an in-demand profession. In terms of population, there are not many students who are studying this program compared to other programs. This means that if you graduate with this degree, there is less competition once you apply for a teaching job. Another reason why you should study BS and Social Studies is in this program, you will be 
we will develop this awareness in social issues. We will be teaching, you will be learning social issues in this program, and you will become well-informed individual, learning the theories why these issues are existing, and question the, the knowledge that the society has fed to us to analyze these issues from different perspectives and you ground your beliefs from facts. And also this program will develop your critical thinking skills. You will become critical. And another reason is it discusses real world issues and how these global and international issues affect our local our country, the, the events in our own localities. And you will be exploring and uncovering many things about the society. You will be understanding your society, your position in the society, the structure in the society through this, this, this program. Another is it will equip you with the 21st century teaching skills communication, collaboration, technology, what else? Uh, collaboration, technology skills that will help you uh, teach the subject ito, that is engaging, interactive, and meaningful. The following are the student outcomes of this program, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in social studies. Meaning to say that at the end of this uh, program, you're expected to possess these outcomes. The first student outcome is articulate the rootedness of education in philosophical, social, cultural, historical, psychological, and political contexts. The SOB is to demonstrate mastery of subject matter or the discipline, which is social studies. SOC is to facilitate learning using a wide range of teaching methodologies and delivery modes appropriate to specific learners and their environments. For the SOD, develop innovative curricula, instructional plans, teaching approaches, and resources for diverse learners. SOE, apply skills in the development and utilization of ICT to promote quality, relevant, and sustainable educational practices. SOF, demonstrate a variety of thinking skills in planning, monitoring, assessing, and reporting learning processes and outcomes. SOG, practice professional and ethical teaching standards sensitive to the local, national, and global realities. SOH, pursue lifelong learning for personal and professional growth through varied experiential and field-based opportunities. SOI, utilize appropriate various social, cultural, and historical materials in explaining current issues. SOJ, organize communities towards self-reliance and self-sufficiency. SOK, demonstrate leadership skills that will help in teaching or training students who will empower their communities. And SOL is integrate local and global perspectives in teaching the princi principle of the common good. SOM, Employ principles of sustainable development in teaching and learning. SON shows scholarship in research and further learning. And SOO display the qualities of an innovative teacher who has mastery of the subject matter. Now, what are the courses in this program? So there are three areas. We have the general education courses, which include subjects or courses which will uh, help you become holistically developed professionals. 
Another is professional education, which will teach you the strategies, methods, theories, and principles of teaching, and specialization courses, courses that are specific for social studies. Under general education courses, we have proposed communication with interactive learning. Next is the contemporary world, mathematics in the modern world, movement enhancement or PE, national service training program or NSTP one and two, reading comprehension, understanding the self, fitness exercise, this is PE2, science, technology, and society, results, life, and works, reading visual arts, environmental science, the entrepreneurial mind, readings in Philippine history, physical activities towards health and fitness one and two, or PE3 and four. Arts appreciation and ethics. So these are the courses under general education. For professional education courses that you will be taking in this program, we have the child and adolescent learners and learning principles, technology for teaching and learning one and two, facilitating learner-centered teaching, foundation of special and inclusive education, Assessment of Learning 1 and 2, Building and Enhancing New Literacies Across the Curriculum, The Teacher and the School Curriculum, The Teacher and the Community, School Culture and Organizational Leadership, The Teaching Profession, Field Study 1 and 2, and the Teaching Internship. So those are the courses under Professional Education Courses. Here are the courses for specialization, exclusive for social studies majors. We have foundation of social studies, human geography, physical geography, urban geography, Asian studies, microeconomics, law and related studies, world history one and two, places and landscapes in a changing world, or this is world geography, macroeconomics, Sociocultural anthropology, trends and issues in social studies, teaching approaches in secondary social studies. We have comparative economic planning, basic of school management and administration, comparative government in politics, research in social studies, production of social studies instructional materials, assessment and evaluation in the social sciences. Technology for Teaching and Learning Social Studies, Social Networking for Social Integration, and lastly, Integrative Methods in Teaching Social Science Discipline in Basic Education. So these are very exciting courses. Now, for, for the teaching internship, in your fourth year, you will be sent to our partner schools to for your teaching them teaching internship or practicum. Our partner schools, we have Ma'a Elementary School, uh, Ma'a National High School. We also have uh, in uh, Haricon Nograles. And we have teaching internship, the C program where the university will send interns in our neighboring countries in Southeast Asia. So we have two social studies majors who did their internship in uh, Thailand. Now, the career paths for social studies majors. We have K-12 teacher most of our graduates pursue teaching and they are now teaching in elementary, secondary, and senior high school departments. Or a college professor, you can also teach in college after earning this degree. Aside from that, you can also work in NGO, non-governmental organization, 
and also in BGMP or the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. Meaning uh, social studies graduates are not exclusive in teaching. You can also work in other government agencies such as BGMP. They are, they are hiring uh, licensed professional teachers. Now, the benefits and experiences. You can be the next top nutcher. I will be presenting to you the top nutchers of social studies program. The first top nutcher, top three in 2016 licensure examination for teachers, we have Razilu Roselio, followed by Sir Jerick Talent, top 10 in 2018 licensure examination for teachers. Next is top six. Ayan Val Cabell in 2018, licensure examination for teachers. And top six in 2018, licensure examination for teachers, Joseph Roy McKilling. Now, another experience and benefits of study studying this program in the university is seminars and workshops. We have conducted several seminars, webinars, and workshops in the past semesters. One is this, uh, a, a webinar on the experiences of Afghan children as they travel to Europe and other industrialized countries. Our speaker in this uh, webinar is a researcher who went to uh, Afghanistan and studied, conducted her research there for eight years. Another webinar that we conducted is this human ecology activities for sustainable planet. Our speaker is from Washington, DC. And we also have Pulong Ilustrado, social studies towards greater heights, an activity of the organization. Another seminars and workshop, we have hands-on activities for people and the planet. Our partner here is Population Connection an international organization based in Washington, D.C., in America. Another is this, In Search for Peace, the Arab-Israeli Conflict. Our partner is Kennesaw State University from United States of America. Aside from that, we have this Holocaust Seminar Workshop. Our resource speakers are from Kennesaw State University Museum of History and Holocaust education. So these are our speakers. We have Tyler Carnes, Dr. Catherine Lewis, and Gitty Tubin. So as you will see, as you see, we have uh, experiences, we have speakers that are from other countries so that we will have this global perspective of the social issues that we are, that our world or our country is facing. We also have the seminar conducted before the pandemic. Our speaker is Professor Bons Plaza from College of Arts and Sciences. Our first uh, seminar. And you will, in this program, you will meet this awesome people of the organization. The name of the organization is Illustrado. This is our virtual meeting with this students this is during the this was during the un celebration before covid-19 pandemic and fun and exciting activities such as this one just chant mobile legend and here are the testimonies of our of our students who are studying social studies so why social studies and why choose UM? According to Gerardo Maraat, who is now a second year student. So I encourage prospective students to attend the university social studies education program, not with the intention opening a history book and concluding that historical events are static and therefore focusing on streams of historical facts is the best method to learn. Beyond the presented content, there are insights, theories, and views and even changes in people's motivation throughout societies that allow a complete link between the past, present, and future, all of which contribute to the northworthiness of this course. 
For the incoming school year, I wish the organization the best. So this is from Julie May Hilario, third year student. There are limitless opportunities in taking social studies as a major. It will widen our perspective in dealing various societal issues and provide us with deeper understanding of the real world. Students will also be exposed to cultures far beyond what we personally experience. This is from Ira, who is now a fourth year student. It will challenge you to see the lessons and values in history, contemporary issues, relationships, and also life. Our alumnus who is now a lecturer in one of the review centers in the country. All our subjects, programs, and activities enable us students to develop higher order thinking skills, particularly on relevant themes in today's society. People used to ask me be before why social studies, and I usually don't know what to say. But right now, ask me the same question, and I'll proudly say, why not social studies? This is another from our alumnus who is now teaching in one of the universities in Davao. The instructions and tasks that were given by my professors that allow us students in this discipline to develop critical thinking, especially to topics that are timely, relevant, relevant and crucial in today's world. Not only that we talk and analyze about facts and significant events, but we are also taught how to relay it to our students, anchoring to timeless and as well as 21st century learning competencies to our students. Apart from that, the university houses a humongous number of resources that help us expand and deepen our knowledge in this discipline. So Yon, if you are interested to study in this program in University of Mindanao, you can reach out through Facebook. This is our, the link to our uh, Facebook page of Illustrado. And also we have a website, Illustrado website, and a YouTube channel of the organization. And I hope that it will help you if you are undecided what program to study in your college. Choose UM and choose social studies. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Sir Wenji. I think that was a uh, very insightful. No, indeed, I would have to agree. Social studies is a uh, very kind of very fun and exciting shana program. No, marami kang pwedeng gawin and marami ka rin pwedeng matutunan sa program na na yan sa social studies. No? So thank you so much, Sir Wenji. If we have any questions, we'll just save it for later na lang po. Sorry, sahin na lang po natin later. But thank you so much, Sir Wenji. I hope uh, the students are able to um, appreciate this program no? as much as I also um, had fun learning about these different uh, majors under the social studies program. So thank you so much once again, Sir Wenji. And now let us move forward to the other half of our info session. Um, Mom Marmi. Are you ready, Pop? Yes, Pop, ma'am. All right. You may now have the virtual floor. Okay. Thank you, Pop. Let me share my screen. Okay. Visible na po ba, ma'am? Uh, yes, Pop. Okay, na po. Okay. Sandali lang. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, hello, hello, mga ga. I hope you are doing well and in good shape. Now, I will be giving you a sneak peek about Bachelor of Physical Education and what we do here. Now, the best way to do that is to show you different pictures of some of the output of our students before I'm going to discuss about the student outcomes and the courses that is being offered. Okay, so ito po yung mga ginagawa namin dito. Okay, yan po yung sa Army, so combat sports po yan. Okay. One of the activities that we have here. Then we also have sports. Um, team sports, volleyball, basketball, um, baseball, yan. And then we also have swimming, so aquatic swimming and 
aquatics, kasali po dito. As well as, yan, gymnastics. So, that was during, um, that is during gymnastics class of yung BPE subject natin. Then we also have Philippine traditional dance class. Yan yung mga students po natin, yan siya lahat. So parang mga professional dancers po yan. Sa picture pa lang. Okay, we also have tribal ethnic dance classes. So we have here, yan yung mga um, ethnic class natin. Then we also have international dance. Kompleto po tayo dito sa University of Mindanao College of Teacher Education. Then we also have emergency preparedness. So dito na yung mga um, in case of emergency, meron tayong mga first aid na ginagawa. So tinuturuan po kayo dito. And okay. Now, so that is actually BPE. Yan po yung kabuuan ng BPE. Now, the output of the students that was presented were anchored to the student outcome specific for BPE. Okay, I have here six SOs, SOI to SON. You might be wondering why we are in SOI already. Now, yung SOA to SOH is generic to all program in the College of Teacher Education in which it was already discussed by the previous speaker. So dito tayo mag-umpisa sa SOI. Um, for SOI, apply scientific and evidence-based practices critical to the education and learning processes. Now, in the BPE program, we don't just teach, but we make sure that we use different studies in the teaching and learning process so it will be more effective. Okay, so may mga naka-anchor po dyan ng mga researches. Okay, then SOJ demonstrates skillful performance in a variety of physical activities. Now, BPE program offers a wide range of activities. Gayon nakita nyo kanina sa pictures. So from sports, dance, music, arts, uh, exercises, literature, name it. We have it here. Okay? You will learn how to perform each of the skills correctly so that when it's your turn to teach, alam mong tama yung tinuturo mo. Okay? Ganyan kami dito sa UM. Now, SOK, adapt performance to a variety of physical settings. So formal classes, recreational, and competitive so we will be teaching you how to be a teacher, a trainer, a coach, so that when you are out in the field, meron kang panglaban. So kung hindi ka ma makapagturo agad sa formal classes, so pwede ka maging coach, pwede kaya maging trainer, um, pwede ka makapagtrabaho sa mga dance studios, sa gym, yan, para maging trainer. Okay? And then, S-O-L, we have critically examined the curriculum. So yung content niya, yung pedagogy and assessments. Then program as well and enhance them necessarily. Now you will also be taught how to create a and examine a curriculum. Now, if the curriculum is in line with the content, the skills that should be taught, the activities and the assessment. So dapat tuhog-tuhog siya so that when you graduate, alam mo talaga kung ano ang itinuturo mo. Hindi pwede yung um, your lesson is cha-cha-cha, then yung skills na itinuturo mo is um, tango, and then yung activity na ginawa mo is nasa field ka, naglalaro, so hindi pwedeng ganun. So dapat tuhog po siya. Then SOM, plan and implement safe and effective physical activity programs to address the needs of individual and groups in school and non-school settings. Sa program po natin, we don't just teach content and skills, but you will learn how to plan and handle programs that will cater the needs of the students inside and outside school setting. Then the last SO is SON. Monitor and evaluate physical activity programs in school and non and or non-school settings. Now, we are not only concerned okay, of the um, 
of our students inside the school, but we make sure that we prepare them to be productive in the community as well. Okay, so yan po yung specific student outcomes ng BPE po. So we have SOI2, SON. So I hope that I made the student outcome clear. Okay, now let's proceed to the grading system for BPE. Okay, kasi iba po yung, yung content ng, um, ng grading system ng, 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 ng BPE. Okay, we have here class participation, 30%, examination, 70%. Although this is a university, ano, um, yung grading system niya is um, university-wide siya, pero yung content niya, it's more of actualization po or performance-based yung sa BPE na subject. So you have quizzes, assignments, participation, 10% each, then... 10%, uh, then research project requirements, 20%. Then sa examination naman, 70%. Now, what we do in BPE is that we have written exam and we also have practical exam. Now, every examination, we might have written or practical lang or both since nga BPE subject siya. Okay? More, on, ano, more on performances. Sali ko na din yung sa GPE. Um, na, na grading system kasi um, part siya ng BPE program. Okay. Yung nadagdag sa class participation is the practical test. So talagang iniba yung practical test sa GPE na subject. So quizzes, assignments, participation, 10% pa rin. Then practical test, 10%. Then yung research projects requirements, 10%. Um, na lang. Now, sa examination, same po siya doon sa BPE subject natin and other, other subject ninyo, um, 70%. Uh, but mostly dito sa GPE, more of performances po tayo or actualization. Okay? So that's for the grading system. And then for the scaling, we have sa scale 1, yan po yung first column then grade, then scale 2, then description sa last column. Now, before sa time namin, eh, medyo matagal na siya, okay, yung 1.0 yan po yung gina-aim namin. Okay, kasi 100% po yan. But this time, wag kayong mag-aim ng 1.0 kasi failed po siya na grade. So that's below 75. Now, sa major subject, dapat po 85% yung kukunin ninyo. Okay, dapat yun yung makuha ninyo kasi major subject siya, di ba? Okay, so iwasan natin bumaba talaga sa ganyan. Okay. Now, um, next is the courses. Ito po yung courses that are being offered in the BPE program. Ito yung mga subject na kukunin po ninyo when you um, join or when you enroll BPE program. Okay, ito siya. For first year, of course, you will have English, mathematics, GPE subjects, and STP, and major subjects. So, uh, umpisa na agad yung major subject dito. At this point, sa BPE subject ninyo, you will be learning about yourself and what your body can do. So, mostly theories ang nandito sa first year in connection with movement pa rin sa exercise, dance, and sports. Gaya na lang ng uh, BPE 111, we have Philosophical and Social Anthropological Foundation of Physical Education and Sports. So dito yung history and foundation of physical education. Of course, mag-start talaga tayo sa pinaka-foundation, pinaka-basic. And then BPE 112, Anatomy and Physiology of Human Movements. So ito naman yung um, different parts, yung um, different parts of you will be learning the different parts of your body in connection to movement. Okay. And then BPE 113, Principles of Motor Control and Learning of Exercise, Sports, and dances. So, parang um, you will learn kung bakit ganyan yung movement mo. Pero mostly mga theories ito dito, yung sa BPE 113, um, learning about the different senses in connection to the movement na meron kayo. 
And then BPE 1 to 1, Physiology of um, Exercise and Physical Activity naman yan. And then BPE 1 to 2, Applied Motor Control. So this is in continuation with BPE 113, pero application na siya. Nung nasa theory ninyo sa principles. Okay? And then BPE 1, 2, 3, individual and dual sports. Okay, ito na yung mga sports na gagawin ninyo individually or by pair. So we have uh, mga racket sports, lawn tennis, ano pa, bad, uh, badminton, table tennis, yan. Then we also have martial arts, yan. So lahat ng mga, mga individual and dual sports na pwede nating gawin dito sa ano sa sa BPE program gagawin po natin. Okay? And then for second year naman, okay, you have here a uh, parang ano na siya, um, more of application of what you've learned sa previous subject niyo but this time um, meron na siyang focus sa isang aspect. Like yung sa BPE, BPE 212, Philippine Traditional Dances. So ang focus niya is sa Philippine Folk Dance. So tuturuan kayo ng iba't ibang Philippine Folk Dances. Then tuturuan din kayo how to interpret the literature. Okay? Para, para ma magawa ninyo yung sayaw na yun. And then we also have here sa second year subject, um, international dance and other forms. So BPE 221. So you, ito yung mga folk dances sa labas ng country natin. So meron tayo mga um, Chinese fan dance, Japanese parasol dance, meron tayong tarantela, minuit. So ito yung mga sayaw outside the country. Okay? And then we have BPE 222. So sa BPE 222, swimming and aquatics po yan. Okay? So tuturuan kayo ng skills. And then um, skills, paano matutong, matutong lumangoy. And at the same time, tuturuan din kayo kung paano ituro yung mga skills na yan. And BPE 223, emergency preparedness and safety management. Okay, so mga first aid po yan siya inagawa. Then we also have arts in the K-12 curriculum, then sports exercise psychology. So yan na yung mga second year. And then sa third year subjects naman, same with the second year, may focus pa rin, pero this time marag, uh, parang bombarded na kayo ng mga major subject kasi halos lahat major subject na siya. Pero ang concentration mostly sa third year is ano, um, health education. Okay? So makita ninyo sa mga subjects or sa mga courses na offer, it's more of the, the health education, personal hygiene, um, community hygiene, as well as yung sa school setting. Okay? Yan, syun, yan yung sa third year subject ninyo. And then pagdating naman sa fourth year, wala ng major subject po kasi uh, practicum yun na yan siya. Then um, yung, yung nandito talaga dapat concentration na din sa, sa field studies. Okay? So dapat wala na yung mabilin nga major subject. Okay? So yun po yung ano... Yun po yung sneak peek kumbaga nung, nung BPE program natin. So kung ano yung mga nakita ninyo na sa sa ano pictures kanina, yun po yung doon po ni ang an um yun po yung output doon sa mga courses na i-offer ng BPE ng University College of Teacher Education sa University of Mindanao. And we have here yung um, organization po natin na willing na tumulong po sa inyo um, to, to help you talaga na to, to, to start your journey dito sa um, University of Mindanao, yung college life ninyo. We have UMOFED, University of Mindanao United Physical Educators. Yun po yung mag uh, organization natin na lahat din um, marami ding mga activities na to, to develop and to enhance your skills na meron kayo. Okay. 
Yan. Okay. We have, um, kung kanina nagpakita ng galing yung mga estudyante, mga output, yung mga teachers din po natin dito sa BPE program, hindi po magpapatalo. Meron din silang pictures, ito yon showing their the moves na karapat dapat silang magturo ng BPE. Okay, so this was during the, actually maingay yung aking mga kasamahan na BPE teacher dito. Excited silang makita kayo sa University of Mindanao. Okay, um, so we have here the, yung, yung the moves na mga teacher, mga PE teacher po yan siya. Okay, parang, parang hindi, no? Eh, mga PE teacher po yan siya. Then ito din, parang elementary, pero PE teacher po yan sila. Para mga elementary lang na ano, mga graders lang yung peg nila. Okay? So, yan. And sa aurahan naman, hindi sila patatalo. Okay? So, tingnan nyo naman. Sa body line pa lang, okay? makikita mo talagang mga PE teachers sila. Di ba? Yan. Diba? Kung maka-aura, maka kung maka-point. Yan. Okay? Excited masyado yung ating mga kasamahan dito. Okay. Uh, so merong ano talaga, merong mga pinagmanahan ang ating mga estudyante dito. Um, ito pa pala, meron pa akong isa. para intermission number. Okay. So naka 50,000 views na siguro ito sa TikTok. Okay, tama ba ako sir? 50,000, more than 50,000, 52,000 na ito sa TikTok. Okay? Kinakusga na mo ni siya nga movement. Dali na ni siya, 50 seconds lang. Ay, nagkang. Ba't nawala? Nawala. Okay, parang nawala. Ha? Hindi ko si Ryan po Ano? Nawala ako, ma'am. <laughs> Sayang. Sandali. <laughs> Nakita mo yun, ma'am. Okay, pwede ko ibalik lang. Sandali. Yes, Parang naano na kasi, ma'am. <laughs> Nagka-problema. <laughs> okay. Dali. Hanapin ko lang po. <laughs> Galing na na. Si, si Sir Junog po, ma'am. Tama ba? <laughs> lahat kami, ma'am, actually po. Lahat ng teacher sa PD kasali po. Ayun. Si Sir Jonald lang. Ikaw lang, Sir, talaga ang ano ni Ma'am. Nakita ni Ma'am dito. <laughs> Nandito si Sir Jonald, Ma'am. <laughs> Hi, Sir. <laughs> Hi, Sir. Daw. Oh, ba diba? Yung the moves ng ating mga BPE faculty. Okay, nakita niyo yun, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Now, you might ask, sino ba sila? Diba? Okay. Ito yung mga kinakusga na to ng mga faculty, BPE faculty. In flesh? Gusto niyo in flesh? Excited kayo masyado. Okay. <laughs> to start off, we have our program head. Yan, si Ma'am Ivy V. Singson. So, program head natin yan siya. Tingnan nyo naman kung makapoint. Parang hindi 40 ang edad. <laughs> Di ba? Okay, bago lang yan. And then we also have yours truly. So, Marmi Rochel M. Potenciando. Yan, kaya pa din yan hanggang ngayon. Then we have Ma'am Lenzel G. Tolon. Yan. And then... Excited si Sir Jonal J. Versano. Liparan lang kung paliparan. Walang ano yan ha, walang, walang edit yan. Di ba sir? Okay, we also have Ma'am Freelane Gonzaga. Yan. Okay, ang facial expression, marag mukha o nung tao. Then Ma'am Ligaya Liwayway A. Cortez. Padimur. And then Sir Glidel John G. Escabarte. Ang figure pa lang, ang body line pa lang, panalo na. And then we have Leonardo H. Rondero, hindi din pa aawat, lilipad din talaga. Ito pa, we have Sir John R. H. Abahar. Okay. Katawa ko sa mga kauban. Okay, and we also have Sir Rodrigo B. Garcia. Yan. Then yan yung mga full-timers full po natin dito sa BPE program. And we also have part-timers na 
equally talented din po. Yan, si Ma'am Jenny May V. Arcales. Diba? Labanan ito ng body line talaga. Pedro Chongson. Yan, mga part-timers natin yan siya. And then we have Frances Angelo Bete, Sir Francis. Then we have Natalie Jill Saruka. Yan. Pa-point lang. And ito pa, Sir J. Mark C. Rodriguez. Then we have Ma'am Pearl Ann uh, Mangkaw. Then Sir Fernand V. Orzora and Sir Petri, Dr. Petrito Castillo III. Lahat po ng BPE faculty natin, mga masters po, uh, master degree holder. Then meron din uh, ongoing yung masters nila. Then meron din ongoing po yung doctoral ng um, mga kasamahan natin din dito. So lahat talaga may mga, may mga kalibre yung ating mga faculty. So that's all for the BPE program. I hope uh, I hope that you will enroll at the University of Mindanao and take Bachelor of Physical Education. See you soon, mga ga. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. So parang requirement yata, ma'am, no, na magaling tumalun. <laughs> <laughs> Parang ganyan ma'am kasi talunan sila ng talunan. <laughs> Very high energy ang BPE faculty, no? Opo. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ma Stop share po ako. Okay. Sige, thank you so much ma'am. Thank ma you. Na-feel ko yung energy dito. <laughs> Grabe yung mga kasamahan ko dito. Ang excited pa masyado sa, sa kanilang mga pictures. <laughs> thank you po. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. So, hopefully the students were able to um see, no? kung gaano ka fun yung um yung environment sa physical education dito sa University of Mindanao and we hope just like what Ms. Uh, Ma Marmi said na you will be able to, uh, you we were able to um encourage you to enroll under our um physical education program here at the University of Mindanao so i guess that ends um the info sessions for both of the uh, programs that we have with us um this morning um and if you do have any questions that you would like to ask, um, I guess uh, Sir Wenji and Ma'am Marmi are ready to um, answer. No? But if ever naman nawala, um, actually we're just going to play na lang yung video um, regarding how to enroll and also our uh, Facebook page. Our, actually, we are very active on social media. No? So um, let me just share my screen really quickly. <clears throat> um, uh, so I think nakita siya, no? Um, ayan. So we are very active on social media. We actually, we are on Facebook. We are on Instagram, on Twitter. And currently we are live on you, uh, on our YouTube channel, no? The University of Mindanao Official. And we also have um, a TikTok account sa, uh, for you. And so um, you can contact us through any of these social media pages no and if ever you also have further questions man you can always um uh, visit us here sa Bolton or you can call us um the different offices so you can call the registrar or sa admission office or sa student accounting office ito yung mga numbers uh ng mga offices namin okay so but anyway just before we end our um session for this morning I would like to share with you a quick video on the um, enrollment process natin so that you will be guided uh, pag enrolling you. We are really looking forward to having you here at the University of Mindanao. And so to make things easier for you, here is that. Oops. Hi Ga! What to expect for the upcoming semester? Because of the pandemic, UM is taking action to make sure that students' education is not left behind. Get ready for the new normal online blended learning. As per Management Committee on Instruction, presented in the Quality Management Council, the entire thing is designed as a hybrid mode of instructional delivery with online learning through the LMS 
as the primary platform during the pandemic transition. We have e-learning through email, SMS, and group chat. M learning through smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. B learning through broadcast university on air. Correspondence learning or the SIM SDL manual, which can be picked up or arranged by courier. And finally, the residential or face-to-face -face mode depending on quarantine conditions. In short, students shall be encouraged to invest on the primary mode while taking advantage of the blenders. But don't worry! The school shall adapt to both asynchronous and synchronous learning where students can keep up with class on their own convenient pace. So, what are you waiting for? Enroll now at the University of Mindanao! You've heard about the University of Mindanao's quality, affordable, open education that is ISO certified, accredited with various highly respected organizations, and believes in a holistic education to develop diamonds in the rough. But how do you enroll as a new student in the middle of a pandemic? Step 1. Please fill out the online student registration through this link found on your screen or visit the official university website with the address as follows. This is what the form will look like upon loading on your screen. After you have filled in your details, please take note of the reference number that will be issued. You will need this reference number for the online payment. Step 2. You can forward your down payment through these following banks or payment centers. Step 3. Please wait for an email and text message containing your student ID number and the access code. Please note this might take at least two to three days, but if there is further delay, please call the UM cashier. Through this website address shown on the screen. Step 5. Under the Online Enrollment option, please click Enroll Course. Step 6. Choose your desired session, then click the Yes option on the screen to finalize your class schedule. Afterwards, please take a screenshot of your enrolled subjects. This screenshot of your subjects will serve as your unofficial soft copy of the Certificate of Matriculation, also known as your Form 1. Step 7. The university's online enrollment system will provide you with your official UM email address. It will be sent to you via the email address that you wrote down in the student registration form, student portal, and text alert. Step 8. Remember, if quarantine restrictions in your area and in Davao City allow, you may claim your official Form 1 and UM Student ID at the Admissions Office, located at UM Embassy along Bonifacio Street, Davao City, right across the Bolton campus. Step 9. Please submit to the university these other required documents shown on the screen on or before the end of the semester. Congratulations! You are officially part of the UM community! See you soon, ga! Okay, so um, I guess you were able to give um, all of the necessary information, Anna, especially with regards to um, the enrollment procedure and uh, any um, important contact information, it's already there as well. So um, I guess with that, um, we are, yeah, I guess, I guess with that, um, uh, Sir Wenji and Ma Mar Marmi, thank you so much once again for joining us 
uh, this morning no, and for sharing with us um, valuable information and for encouraging our students to come join us at the University of Mindanao. And we are really hoping that they will come and join us no, either under the uh, social studies program or under the physical education program. So thank you so much once again, Sir Wenji Mamarmi, and um, thank you as well to the students who took their time to come and visit and listen to our info session this morning, and we hope to see you all soon, very, very soon, Malaga. All right, so thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful morning. Bye. Thank you, Mom Kate. Bye. Thank you, sir.